Welcome to Data Driven, where solutions are driven by data. Cyclists and pedestrians experience numerous problems such as ineffective signage, safety, narrow bike lanes. Last week we focused on the issue of connectivity in Tahiti. Today we're taking a look at issues associated with bicycle parking in the happiest town in the U.S., San Luis Obispo, California. We are going to talk with local cyclists who personally experience difficulties with finding a space to properly secure their bicycle. Sir, it looks like Hi. you're having a hard time finding a parking spot. Yeah, uh, I mean every time I come to the library there's nowhere to park. There, all the spots are taken. And not only the bike racks, but all the rails are taken also. So I don't know what the university is doing, but it's definitely very upsetting when I have just so, so much studying to do and I can't find a place to park my bicycle. Well, today is your lucky day. What, what? I'm Maggie from Data Driven, and we're going to use data analysis to solve this problem. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> and also the weather, the external conditions. So it is Sunday, maybe that's why this bike rack isn't very full. And it's kind of cold too. It is kind of cold, and it's not peak hours. Hmm. You think it's about to rain also? Maybe. <laughs> After collecting and analyzing our data, we can consider some alternatives for solving this bike parking issue, such as slanted or double level parking. collected all this data. We have charts, we have graphs, we have tables, we have lists. What are we going to do with all this data right now? Well, I heard there's a great planner in the city and regional planning department. Maybe you should go show him this data and he can help you turn your plan into action. Wow. on Data Driven, we'll be continuing our story discussing pedestrian and bicycle facility design. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Data Driven, where solutions are driven by data.